Today I'm starting with The Professional by Benefit. This primer leaves your skin feeling silky smooth and totally poreless, allowing any foundation that you put on to just sit beautifully. I've chosen Chanel's Perfection Lumiere because it gives a lovely matte finish while giving you really good coverage. From my Ben Nye Concealer Wheel, I'm going for the peach colour underneath my eyes to cancel out the purple and brighten the area. And then from my Bobbi Brown palette, I'm going to be using a concealer to conceal any blemishes and any redness in my skin. to be going over all of this with Chanel's translucent powder to set everything and to make sure that my foundation doesn't move throughout the day. Using Benefit Stay Don't Stray, I'm going to be priming my eye area as we're going for quite a smoky look so I don't want any of my eye shadow to move. From Chanel's Intuition Quad, I'm going for the peachy pink colour just over my whole mobile lid. This is going to give a lovely illuminating base to the rest of my eyeshadow. And then using the dark brown, I'm going to be going over the whole mobile lid again. This is just going to warm up the lid and give me a base for my brown smoky eye. Using a stiff small angled brush, I'm going in with a very dark brown colour underneath my eye area and I'm going to start giving myself some definition by sculpting the outer corners of the eye and moving into the crease of the eye with a dark colour. I'm going to be using a brown gel liner to line the top lid and corner of the bottom as well as give myself a small flick. As a result of the angle at the top of this brush, you have really good control. And then using a fluffy brush, you want to go in with a lighter brown colour again and start to smoke up the corners of your eye. Remember to build on the colour. It's much easier to put colour on than it is to take it away, so start slowly. Now I'm curling my eyelashes with my Shear Mira Curlers. I'm using Chanel's Volume de Chanel Mascara. It's a wonderful mascara that gives you really nice volume without making your eyelashes clumpy. If you want to get really good volume on your lashes with your mascara, a great tip is to go in with an eyelash comb after you've applied your mascara, separate your lashes and then go back in with another layer of mascara. Using this light gold colour, I'm going to go into the corners of my eyes with it. This will make your eyes look bigger and also make you look more awake. Using Max Coffee Liner, I'm going to go into the waterline and smudge just the outer corners of my eye. Using a pencil, I'm going to define and fill my eyebrows in, giving myself an arch. Mm -hmm. 
using this lovely bright pink blusher I'm going to give myself on the apples of my cheeks some colour moving up to towards my temples and touching ever so slightly on the rest of my face just to tie the colours all together. In order to keep the layers really thin and make your lipstick last, I'm going in with a lip brush using Max Snob for this lovely pink colour. And over the top of my lipstick I'm going to be using a YSL Glossy Stain. This is going to help seal the colour in and give me an ever so slightly glossy finish. To finish off today's look I'm going to be using an Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. Setting sprays really do go a long way to helping your makeup last all night long.